Welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about how Fistel cipher is used in modern block cipher. In our last class, we clearly explained the concept of Fistel cipher. There we have discussed a point in the Fistel cipher function, you need the key value and some plain text or part of the plain text or con constant value. It should be provided during the both the phases like uh, whenever you are using encryption and decryption it should be provided. How it is providing will be discussed in this class. This is purely continuation class. Please watch our previous class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. Uh, so in order to provide the concept which we discussed in our last class. Uh, so our what they have done here is uh, the plain text they have divided this plain text into two halves means exactly to the middle we are going to divide the plain text and left part and right part in order to do that only left part is going to be encrypted during the encryption phase right part will be moved as it is in the cipher text Let's try to understand how we are going to use the Fistel cipher in our modern block cipher. So we divided our plain text into two halves, left and right part. Left part is exclusive R with which value? F of K comma R. R is the right part. See F of K comma R is a Fistel function. Means it is going to provide a non-invertible output. That output we call it as X that x is going to be exclusive or with the left part whatever the output you got here you take it as l1 and this right part is as it is moving into the cipher text we call it as r1 as it is we are not changing this right part as it is so l1 r1 swapped left part comes here right part comes here this we call it as cipher text See the here R1 means as it is right part as it is came into the cipher text. This cipher text is moved to the destination mobile. So R1 means as it is this part as it is came from here we call it as R1. Again swap here R1 goes this side L1 goes this side L1 means whatever we encrypted here this is what l1 this encrypted value exclusive word with again this r1 is moving into the r1 means same as r f of k comma r again it is going to provide the x value this is how we are providing a, in both the functions in during the encryption and decryption we are providing this r value because key values are already exchanged between the source and destination. So this is how we provided f of r comma k means it is going to provide the x value. This x value is exclusive word with l1 means whatever you got from here cipher text l1 exclusive word. It is going to provide you the L value and it is going to be stored here and R R R1 value directly stored into the plain text because it is not changed. Right hand side not yet changed. Here it is moving to the right side from cipher text it is going to the here and from here it is going to the plain text. Again our plain text has been obtained but so many will get a question we are not doing uh, encryption for the right hand side but uh, this is a simple case where it is going to be done, done in single round in our last classes we clearly discussed that in order to provide confusion and diffusion we are adding multiple rounds round 1, round 2, round 3 so on in DES we are going to use 16 rounds so this is one round this output is moved to the second round that's why we have done swap here means in the second round this right hand side part will become the left hand side means this is going to be encrypted so this is the point you need to understand this is the point you have to remember this is the concept we are going to use in our 
DES data encryption standard algorithms which we are going to discuss in our coming classes hope you understand based on this swapping concept and different rounds we are going to do both left hand side and right hand side encryption here we will do left hand side in the second round we are going to do right hand side in the third round left hand side like that uh, keeps on continuing hope you understand this concept of crystal cipher how we are going to use it in our modern block cipher if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you